Fuels can be grouped into two main categories. Fossil fuels, which include coal, oil and gas. And renewable fuels, that include wood and biofuels. When fuels are burned, energy is transferred to the surroundings. Combustion is the scientific word for burning. In a combustion reaction, a fuel reacts with oxygen from the air to produce carbon dioxide and water. Here's an example of a combustion reaction. Methane, which is the fuel, reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. The reactants are the methane and oxygen and the products are carbon dioxide and water. And here is the equation written as a balanced symbol equation. CH4 plus 2O2 makes CO2 plus 2H2O. So we use lots of combustion reactions in our everyday lives. Vehicles burn fuel such as petrol and diesel. Petrol and diesel contain hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons are molecules that are made up of hydrogen and carbon. When petrol and diesel burn, they release carbon dioxide and water. If the fuel contains sulphur, sulphur dioxide can be produced during combustion, whereby the sulphur reacts with oxygen to produce sulphur dioxide. Inside a hot car engine, nitrogen oxides can also be produced. Nitrogen from the air would react with oxygen to produce nitrogen oxide. Incomplete combustion occurs when there is not enough oxygen for the fuel to fully burn. Here is an example of an equation for incomplete combustion. So if you have a hydrocarbon, like petrol or diesel, and that reacts with oxygen, if there is not enough oxygen available, rather than producing carbon dioxide and water, it will produce carbon monoxide and water and solid carbon. However, the problems with incomplete combustion are that the carbon monoxide produced is a poisonous gas, so that is toxic, it can kill people. And the solid carbon is released in small particles that we call solid particulates. And the problem with this is this causes global dimming and where this builds up in the atmosphere it can prevent sunlight coming through to the Earth's surface. So with burning fuels, with combustion, we have a problem that the carbon dioxide causes global warming. Sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides cause acid rain. Solid particulates, otherwise known as soot, can cause global dimming. And carbon monoxide is toxic. So do we have an alternative option? Well, another fuel that we can burn is hydrogen. The combustion of hydrogen is a cleaner alternative. In this equation, you can see that when hydrogen reacts with oxygen in a combustion reaction, the only product is water. So in this case, we're not producing the carbon dioxide that's causing global warming or any of those other gases which were causing environmental problems. So in the future, as we battle climate change, the combustion of hydrogen rather than hydrocarbons is perhaps going to be the way forward. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.